Today in this video I want to teach you how to build your strawberry towers or growing towers. Uh, you've probably seen them in other, you know, cool uh, aquaponic systems or, you know, um, um, any other hydroponic systems. But uh, I want to teach you, you know, it looks some sort of like a weird type of device that somebody makes somehow. But it's actually simple to make. First, find some PVC. Uh, in this case, it looks kind of dirty, was never used. Just I found it in an abandoned construction site. I bought it from the, you know, from the owner of the site. Um, really cheap scrap pieces or whatever, you know. And this one is a smaller piece, but actually this was a full piece of a pipe of 10 feet, 10 feet long. I cut it in, in half, so five feet each. But this is what we, you wanna you wanna get to. You wanna get to a a, a system that actually trickles down in something like a cascade way, but uh, you know, and zigzag. And so what happens is that the water will travel and this pattern will maintain the media that you're growing. The growing media will maintain nice and moist, but uh, in this case will not be completely submerged. And as you know, in aquaponic systems, you have different type of uh, herbs or plants that require or can tolerate different type of uh, humidity. So that I'm not gonna get in this video, but you can, I mean, you just find it all in an order of my videos. So this is what happens. This thing was bent with heat which I have a heat gun over here. And, and then that's how it looks like. So this is what it will look like. So first you get the pipe, different thicknesses, different costs. So this one a little thinner than that one because it's not for pressure. You can find, you know, stuff that are cheaper or stronger, whatever you want. If it's too big, you know, whatever you decide, but you can find it at different prices. All right. So what happens in this piece is that you start by cutting the length that you want. I'm recommending right now to cut every eight or have every every uh, a, a spot at about eight inches of a space because it gives, especially to a strawberry, some space to grow and, and you're not wasting the much of a space. So uh, you get the piece, you cut it with a hacksaw, hand saw, a miter saw, skill saw, circular saw, whatever you want, reciprocate saw, whatever you want to use. I'm not going to cut right now. But um, what you do is that you cut it in half and you mark. Uh, by using the, the, the marks of the of manufacturers, uh, you mark a line, a straight line, measure the circumference, circumference with, with your tape or whatever, or string or whatever you want. Then you do like my style, style things. What you do is that you mark the first one, and then you determine what is the other size, you mark the other one. What I did to, to make it a little more clear is that I left some space for my, my, my hooks. And then I start measuring. So in this case, I'm gonna you're gonna start measuring about 10 inches, and then you make the first line. You know. So what you do is that you mark by using again something that you can invent out of whatever you find. In this case, I'm using the little strap that's for piping. So I have some of that stuff, and it doesn't like bend this way. So it gives you a nice line. So what you do is that you mark, you put it around, then you mark with your pencil. So I'm gonna show you. In this one, I measure first. 10 inches and then from there on eight inches every time mark in zigzag you know an opposite uh, uh, size of the of the of the pipe so uh, mark 10 inches 10 inches over here will be 18 um, over here for the second line and then you mark another eight inches over here and so you turn it around you mark eight inches as the third line now remember that you start making one line over here, then one line over there, then you're gonna start making this line over here. So you align your little piece of uh, guide around, and you know you determine what your first line is over here, your other line on the other side, and then you you mark. You don't need to put the pencil in your mouth. You know I just did it because I'm nasty. <laughs> so okay, so you're marking, you know all the way the progression all the way until you finish with your section of a pipe that can be whatever you can imagine you know so any size you want even if it's like two feet long i mean whatever you want so that's so the second step third step like in the movies i already have this thing cut <laughs> so you have lines over here lines over there that were already cut you can use a hacksaw hand saw, whatever and and i already made one little thing so just to show you how it works so now is the tricky more dangerous part this is a heat gun, protect your hands with gloves in this case, not just because it's, it's cold right now, but just protect your hands really well. And how this little machine works, this heat gun is for paint stripping or whatever, 
the more open it is, the more colder. So you are gonna keep it hot, especially now that it's really cold. Put it in a hot place. And what you wanna do, just to just to give you an idea, so you don't you don't lose your your heating area. What I do is I'm gonna mark the area that I wanted to have really hot, so I don't you know heat or stuff and waste time or energy. So this is what you gotta do. Keep it heating it up, heating it up, heating it up until you eventually have it so nice and flexible. It becomes you like a, a piece of, uh, you know, a cardboard. That's how it is. Now we have some clamps over here that we're gonna use to, to give the nice shape. Then later on, when you finish with your project of, of uh, uh, bending this material, you can actually, you know, use a nice uh, 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 wet uh, sandpaper and clean it up and make it look not nice. So you wanna paint it with some sort of like non-toxic paint or whatever you want to you know you want to play a little bit with creativity this is cool you know this material is waterproof so obviously so the water will come from the pumps it will actually come on the upper side of the of the tower and and it will trickle down all the way to your either to your own uh a fish tank or to another bed a growing bed uh, you know through piping or whatever so you can imagine I have a little have a little cap over here you can cap it you can make a little hole and then transfer the water from there to another place blah 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 so again we are in a cold right now we're, we're in January so it's kind of cold over here where I live North Carolina so you know you have to be patient don't do this thing inside the house um, because of the fumes, so, you know, I mean, just dangers around or whatever. Just, just keep it clear of, out of a lot of stuff as well, I'm building it. Oh, yeah, so, oh, that's nice, see? Uh-huh, so it's getting there, it's getting there. Very nice. So, um, um, soon you will be able to use the little clamps to clamp this thing all the way in. So, all right, that's what's going on. Um, wear some gloves, you know, like leather gloves or non-flammable gloves, you know, don't use some something that, that will actually increase the heat in your hands, so just get in there. What you want to do is you want to just create enough space uh, behind it so the water can nicely and gently get evacuated. So you don't want to have that area so big or so small that you're going to start causing uh, some sort of like clog through the time or whatever, so... So you just just keep that on mind. I mean, it's it's nothing too nothing too technical about it. Um, as long as you have this um, this thing nice and warm in the beginning, I'm I'm, I'm determining right now that we're almost there. So um, let's see. I mean, it's real time, so you can see that it takes like a minute and a half or two. All right. So you put it right here. You have your your nice little thing. You need clamps. Um, put it on one side, you know, it kind of be quick in this thing because it's getting, uh, you know, it gets solid really fast. You clamp it over here, on this side really quick. All right, then you clamp it on the other side. And there you go. You have a nice system, you know, you have your second growing section over here. And then you do it over and over and over. You get them in an old pair of clamps or in about one minute or so, or with a little bit of water if you want, this thing will be solidified like like rock, you know? I mean, like like a PVC plastic. Uh, so you, 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 you do it all the way over there. Later on, you make a perforation and you put, a, I gotta, you know, this use, uh, electrical wire so I you know I pulled it up stripped it and get some of the little things so this you can you can you know you can actually hang it from whatever you want and that is how I mean at the end like I explained before if you want you can actually put a, a cap at the end you know however you want to do it or, or just let it drain inside another growing bed really low so it doesn't splash water away and that's how you build your strawberry towers thank you so much